All right, what I want to do in this video is just met to uh, fill in some gaps that are around earlier on, one specific small gap actually, uh, to do with the relationships between uh, cognition on, and kind of action representations within motor cognition and some stuff to do with perception, uh, which I think it's a gap I think I need to fill in order to be able to uh, kind of justify some of the, the, the language about perception that I, that I used in some of the other videos. Uh, so it's quite short this, I've written this stuff down so I'll be reading it, but it is quite short as I say. Uh, okay, this is an addition to an earlier posting regarding the evolution of cognition and the role of sensory motor activity and the function of something like action representations. A useful distinction that I want to draw here is that between what I'm calling sensation and perception. And I'd like to offer that the first of these terms sensation refers to the operation of the sensory motor system in relation to the environment whereas the second term perception is a higher order process for example there is a part of the sensory motor system associated with seeing which consists of the eye and parts of the visual cortex and also the motor mechanisms which focus the eye saccade the eyeball in its socket adjust the dilation of the pupil according to light levels and according to the desirability of the object looked at apparently. And together this combination of sensory and motor activity produced the sensation of seeing. This is not the same as perception as I want to use that term however. In order for the results of this sensational seeing to be perceived there needs to be a further operation in which this sensory motor activity is held as a representation and then made available to other perhaps specially evolved cognitive processes. It is this secondary or higher order processing of sensation and action that constitutes perception. To paraphrase Antonio Damasio, sensation is what happens. Perception is the feeling of what happens. Nicholas Humphreys presents an interesting narrative description in uh, this distinction in his essay The Privatization of Sensation. He suggests that a simple organism, perhaps something like an amoeba, and I stress this is an organ for this um, this model of Humphreys, it doesn't even need to be an evolved organism like uh, one that has a central nervous system. We can go even further back in the evolutionary chain than that. So a very simple single-celled organism, something like an amoeba, having only the simplest form of sensory motor engagement with the world, is capable of sensation, as I'm using the term, but not perception. Such an organism, in the presence of a chemical salt, would, he claims, react to that chemical according to the physiological inevitabilities of its embodiment. The composition of its cell walls and its own internal chemistry would be affected by the saltiness of its environment and this effect would express itself in, for example, a characteristic wriggling. Alternatively, if light of a certain wavelength, say a wavelength that would be visible to us as red, were to fall across this creature, another very different set of physiological changes would be initiated, perhaps noticeable as a different but equally characteristic wriggling. Humphreys suggests that it would not be irrational to think of the first of these amoeboid wrigglings as wriggling saltily and the second as wriggling redly. Of course, this perception of different wrigglings as characteristic of different environmental stimuli would not be available to the organism itself, since it does not have the necessary cognitive apparatus for this kind of secondary observation, basically an apparatus in which this sensory motor, uh, sensory motor engagement was re represented in some way. If it were to evolve such a capacity, however, then it would be able to not only actively participate in the production of sensation, but also to have perception of this sensory motor engagement. It would not only be part of what happens, it would also perceive the feeling of what happens.
Okay, that's all I want to say on there. Thanks very much.